beginner data analyst needs to pick is a tool or programming language for data analysis. I personally started off with Excel. Is that the best tool there is for data analysis? No. If I could go back in time, would I have started with something else? Also. So I like what he's saying there. I think Excel is a great segue into data analysis. If you don't have access to Excel because Excel does cost money, Google Sheets is free and it offers a lot of the same capabilities as Excel. So if you're starting to get into data analysis, you could do some simple aggregations, pivot tables, make some simple visualizations. If you haven't used Excel or Google Sheets, I definitely recommend trying it. Even just doing a basic project in one of those can get your kind of feet wet and get you an idea of what you're actually going to be doing as a data analyst. And I personally recommend every single data analyst to start off with Excel. It's easy to learn, used in almost every company, and it has a wide range of applications for data analysis. But this is also its pitfall. Although you can do a lot of different things in Excel, it's not designed specifically for data analysis, meaning it has its limitations. You want to work with a very large data set? Well, good luck not punching through your computer screen after Excel crashes for the 27th time. Working with Excel with large data sets, it's not fun. Even if you're just using it as an intermediate step to look at data, you can't really load in large data sets even just to look how it's formatted or anything. So that's kind of unfortunate and that is the pitfall of Excel. But like he said, it does offer a lot of basic capabilities and really the option and functionality to do a lot of different things. You can really do your first entire data analysis project from start to finish in Excel. And I think you would find that it's actually going to be very useful for you in your career. I know he said it was enough to land him his first data analyst role, but I feel like data and data analysis as a whole has become a lot more competitive. The requirements of the job, depending on what industry or what job or company you're going to work for, Excel might not be enough, but it's definitely something that you're going to want to know. And it's almost a rite of passage on your, on your resume, I believe. I, I put Excel, I know how to use Excel on my resume and they never mentioned it in the interview, but I did get the job. So just putting that out there too. Excel is perfect for starting out, but once you've mastered Excel, it's time to move on to the more serious tools. And the most logical tool to learn next is SQL. Next to Excel, it is apparently the second most requested skill in data analyst job openings. I do want to say, I don't know if SQL would be the next logical step for me because SQL is helpful once you realize that pulling data directly the way it is, however, wherever you're getting it from, you realize that it might not be in the correct format and SQL is going to be the best tool to get that data in the correct format. Until you know what type of format you need your data in and you learn that by working in programming languages and working in different visualization softwares, which I know he gets to later in this video, something like Tableau or something like R or Python, and you need your data in a specific format to perform your analysis or to make a certain visualization, that's where SQL becomes really important. So personally, I don't know if jumping right from Excel to SQL is your best option. I would say jumping from Excel to something like R or Python or Tableau or Power BI or any of these other visualizations and data ana analysis tools would be the next logical step. But I'm never ever going to say that learning SQL is a bad thing because I use SQL constantly in my job because it doesn't have the same limitations as Excel. But the best thing about it is that SQL has its own very easy to use programming language. It's a great tool to add to your skill set as a data analyst while also being a great stepping stone to some more serious programming. But before we get to that, every data analyst needs a visualization tool. There are dozens of BI tools out, but having worked for multiple companies and projects and having looked at probably hundreds of data analyst job openings, I've come to realize that the majority of companies are looking for people with experience with Tableau, Power BI, and ClickView. Here's the pros and cons of each, so you can decide which- Personally, I have heard of Power BI and it's been used at organizations that I've been at. The easy visualization tool, I'll put quote unquote, easy visualization tool that I have used is Tableau, so I can speak a little bit about that, but it is definitely a beginner friendly easy to learn and easy to use data visualization and data analysis software. It's a lot of clicking and pointing, a lot of dragging and dropping. You're not going to be doing too much like coding, but you can make beautiful visualizations and you can get valuable insights from something like Tableau. And that's personally the next step I would be taking from Excel and jumping from Excel to Tableau. You could do a lot of the basic things in Excel pretty easily. Once you get into more advanced stuff, it becomes more compli 
complicated than I think is what it's worth. And that's where something like Tableau comes in because you can put your data into visualizations and add filtering options that just look a lot more seamless to an end user than an Excel workbook. But let's see what he has to say about these three because I haven't heard of ClickView and I haven't used Power BI. So I am kind of interested to see what he says about those and see how those compare to Tableau. Here's the pros and cons of each so you can decide which suits you best. Power BI is part of the Microsoft stack. So it works smoothly with Excel and SharePoint. Besides that, it has a free version and even the paid versions are relatively budget friendly compared to the other BI tools. Next up is Tableau. Tableau is a BI tool with more extensive data visualization capabilities than Power BI. It seems to be just a bit more in demand in the job market than Power BI. It comes with a much higher price tag though, making it harder to learn if you're starting out by yourself. There's ClickView. Using in-memory technology, making it a super fast and responsive way of doing business intelligence, but also a pretty high price tag. And also I think ClickView looks kind of disgusting. And Power BI. Out of those three, I would say Tableau would be my choice, but I don't know enough about the other two. ClickView, from what he showed on screen, looked absolutely disgusting, but it doesn't have to look beautiful depending on who it's going to. But sometimes outside sources want your visualizations to just look nice. And it makes sense. The nicer it looks and the cleaner it looks, the easier it is to gather insights from. And that's an important concept to learn as a data analyst as well. But Power BI, I don't know enough about to say one way or the other. I know it's a Microsoft tool and I know he said it in the video. Depending on what else your organization uses or where you're at in your career, a Microsoft suite tool might be better. It might just fit seamlessly into your other products that you're using. I don't know, but Tableau works great for my job and there is a small learning curve once you get into more advanced data analyst not even data analyst just like visualization techniques and understanding like the little nuances with tableau it is difficult but there is another youtuber who makes all tableau content who i want to give a big shout out to tableau tim he's awesome i've watched so many of his tutorials on tableau so if you want to learn tableau check out tableau tim before we move on to how to actually get good at data analysis and land that first job there's one more thing we need to do as a data analyst after you've mastered a bi tool it's time to get into the more advanced analytics i'm talking about which programming language to use when it comes to data analysis or data but this is what i'm most excited about i love using programming languages java javascript ruby c sharp python r c c plus plus and many more. And i'm a terrible Luckily programmer but i do analysts, we only have to choose between two programming languages r, r and python, python. so which called one should it. you pick i chose python if i could go back in time I it's would almost like i watched the video python. why well even though they're actually very similar r is a programming language focused more on statistical analysis well python is a more general purpose pro this is true this is very true r is more of a statistical analysis program and python is more of a general purpose programming language r is becoming i think more and more closely related to python if you haven't seen our shiny dashboards i have a video i can link it up above for anybody who's not watching live i'm not going to go through and do that now but i'm going to show you real quick like what our shiny dashboards can look like so this is something that was built in r and that's all analysis you can all filter on different things you're going to see that a lot of them look similar because they're using similar packages but you can even customize that with like css and html and to make them look completely different trust me i've seen them much different than this rather than using the base r packages but using the base r packages for shiny dashboards like this is another great way to make visualizations and filter and r is a lot faster at large data than something like tableau so if you're working with large data and you have to filter down on it and you have to filter on a bunch of different things using something like r python's going to be the way the way to go and the capabilities are completely customizable to you you can fit models that you can't fit or if you can fit them in tableau you can't customize them the way you do in something like python or r but that's just my two cents i love r that's what I, all i use at school so programming language that also happens to be very good for data analysis meaning if you get good at python for data analysis it might also open the door to a lot of different job opportunities and i definitely have a biased view on that i've also used python for a previous role i had as a student researcher and you can do so much in python it's and there's definitely a little bit more of a learning cur curve in r or in python than there is in r but i've used r so much that maybe i'm just biased in that sense that i think python's harder just because i haven't dealt with it as much but i don't think you can go wrong if you want to be a data analyst either one of these programming languages could be your first step into a programming language meant for data analysis so the path i took 
is Excel, SQL, Power BI, and Python. This is the path I would recommend as it worked out great for me. But learning Excel or Google Sheets, interchangeable, I would prefer Excel, but Google Sheets works just the same. Learning programming language, R or Python, Use, learning a visualization tool like Tableau, Power BI, maybe ClickView, those are gonna be costly if you're working on it by yourself. But if your school has those softwares available, for example, my school, Penn State, had Tableau available to all students. Use that if you can, because it's a great tool to learn. A lot of organizations use it. And then learning something like SQL. That was the path that I took. I'm not saying that's the best or the only path, but that's the one that I took, and I did get a data analyst job. Obviously, he took a different route, and he also got a data analyst job. So just keep those in mind.